chest. I guess I don't need to. <laughs> okay, we need about 60-ish, so I'll go to 70 and stop it. Wait for it. Uh-oh. Out of material. I need silver. <laughs> Actually didn't plan that. Let's see if we've got enough. Ah, we had enough, just barely. <laughs> okay, now we need computers, which I know we have. Computers, computers, computers. So if we need anything else that requires silver, we have a problem. As a matter of fact, I I just saw it in the uh, inventory. I had one leftover reactor component. So there's our reactor. <gasps> but it's not working. It needs fuel. Well, we got fuel. Here's some I prepared earlier. In fact, let us go to the refinery, which is... Do I have any silver? I do have silver! Oh, God! Okay. So I got plenty of uranium, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and put some in our reactor here. Let's put five in. Why not? Uh, seven. Leave 18 for the ship, which is quite a bit, actually. Okay, yeah, I forgot to mention. One trick with uh, putting a reactor, make sure you have access to the door so you can put fuel in there. It's alive! It's alive! And you see here, uh, fuel time, one years. <laughs> Literally, in-game, one year. That's no exaggeration. Uh, it's got power usage at 0.01%. <laughs> now, uh, let's see, which... I believe it's the Y key turns off your reactor, as you can see. Now, if we want it back on, simply hit the Y key again. Cool. And we want to... Uh, oh, interesting note. Take a look near the bottom of the screen. I uh, should be able to... V? No. I wonder what free look is. It's not that one. No. No. Ah, okay, it is alt. Okay, look at the bottom here. You see nickel, platinum... That's the ore, uh, ore detector already doing its thing. Isn't that cool? Hitting Y to exit. Oh, Y does not exit, silly. F exits the boat. Oh, actually, I should have turned that power off one moment. Okay, there. Power is off. And we're good. I'm actually going to reverse an earlier decision. Go ahead and put a few extra blocks here. I'll show you why in a moment. Because we need gyroscopes. Gyroscopes are wonderful things that help you uh, steer your ship, as opposed to simply being <laughs> a slave to uh, mass er, to um, inertia and thrusters. So, gyroscope, gyroscope, gyroscope. Where are you? There you are. Whoops. Okay, yeah, I got it. Okay. So, uh, there's no. I don't think there's any real rhyme or reason on how to put them. They just need to be on and attached to the ship. I'm going to put two. Two should be good enough for steering this small ship. Woo, woo, okay. Uh, seven, and click, and weld. All right. That's most of what we need already. The only thing we need now are thrusters, and quite a few of them. It would be ideal if we used large thrusters, but... Uh, that takes a lot more material, so we're just going to go ahead and use small thrusters. And let's make sure I've got enough materials. Let's see, I don't need that. Actually, so let's see, what do I need? Get rid of these things, and thrusters. Small ion thruster is the one you want. Steel plate, construction component, thruster component, and large steel tube. Okay, those are simple. And I believe I have enough for those no matter what, so... Don't need the grid, don't need interior, don't need... Oh, wait, yeah, we do need construction. Don't need computer, don't need motor. So, at least tubes. Uh, we may run out of... No, we probably won't run out of steel. Thruster components, however, we need. Uh, mem my memory is terrible. So we should be good on that. Right. Let's put some thrusters in. Uh, again, this is kind of uh, as you... Need, think you need them. I'm going to go ahead and put four on the back. Oh, I didn't know I had autosave turned on. Okay. Put 
Put four on the back, and while we're going, let's go ahead and weld, weld them. Again, make sure you weld them all the way. Now, the key about uh, spaceships in space here is that we need thrusters going the opposite direction in equal force. So if we're putting four back there, we need four pointing forward as well. Some damage can't occur if your thrusters are in front of other objects. So this is going to look a little, uh, what's the word? Uh, it's going to look a little funky, I guess. Uh, but let's go ahead and do this. Four thrusters pointing the other way. One, two, three. Whoops, I can only use, I only need two per side. My bad. Let's get rid of this. Uh, five. There we go. And hold them in place. Good. And now let's do two on the other side. How did I'm trying to keep this symmetrical? Symmetry. Yes, I know. Uh, okay. Woo! Sorry for all the weird angles. For some reason it doesn't bother me too much, and I didn't need that one. This is a little tricky, trying to grind something when it's on top of something else. You have to kind of press it down for like half a second and let go. Ooh, I did it. And just in case. No, I did not screw it up. Okay. Because then you'll start grinding stuff underneath it, and that's not what you wanted. Uh, it, while you're watching this video, if you have uh, suggestions, by all means, put them in the comments. I mean, everybody everybody stands to learn something from this, including myself. <clears throat> so, now we have our forward and backward thrusts covered. Now we need to do... Uh, let's see. We need to do the top thrusters and the bottom thrusters, and also the side thrusters. So... Uh, let's just try and do four thrusters in all directions. It's going to be a lot of thrusters because they're small ones. If they were large ones, we'd have an easier time with this. So, four up. And weld. And we're also going to want four on the bottom. This is going to be a little tricky. Uh, yeah, it's going to suck, but let's go ahead and do this. Whee! Whee! And reverse one. Oh, psst, look what I did. <laughs> Grind that shit. Where are you? There you are. As a matter of fact, watch. It's totally detached, right? Dink. That's what happens if you don't anchor your ship properly. <laughs> Good lesson there. I would like to say I planned that. I did not. There we go. Now I feel better. Let's just do that. Turned off my jetpack. One, two, three, four. And start welding. This video is going to take a while to upload, but that's okay. It's probably going to melt my hard drive, too. Okay, so now we have up, down, forward, back. Now we need left and right. So, here we go. Oh yeah, you may notice I've kind of put these in rather haphazard locations. In terms of space engineers, this is fine. It's not going to cause any really weird rotational thrust. Or perhaps it does, I haven't noticed it. So, I'm going to say no it doesn't. Yeah. Oh, and technically I'm doing two in each direction, aren't I? Instead of four. The four total, but the backward and the forward are the really important ones, so that's why those have gotten more thrusters. All right. And then finish these up. And we are good to go. We got everything we need. To prove it, I'm going to get rid of my little uh, leg here. It's floating! No, I'm just kidding. Okay, F to enter. Y to turn on the power. Ah, oh, that's a good sound. Okay, here we go. Space for thrust. It's the same uh, controls as jetpack. Space for up. Uh, S for or S for back, I should say. Crouch for down. Or is it crouch? No, C, isn't it? C for down. And let's go to the... Let's go over here so I don't break anything. What's that sound? I thought I heard something. Okay. 
And now, uh, note on the bottom right, it says landing gears in proximity zero. I'm going to slowly go down until we hit bottom. Whoop, and now it says locked, which it should not. I believe it's P to unlock. Yes, now it says in proximity three. I will now hit P again. It's locked. Now I can turn off power and exit. Look at that. Look at that! It's a working ship! Okay, this might be a bit of an issue as far as damaging things when you take off. But I'm not too concerned about that right now. Cool. So, now we have a ship. Let's do some flying. This isn't... I'm not going to take too long on this. Y to start the engines. P to turn off the landing gear. And we're off! Yay! You can see the thrusters on the side there. Interesting sound. We're at full speed. Are we? Oh, no, we're not. It's on the right or, uh, right side there. I'm going to let go. And inertia dampeners are, are in play. Which means it will negate all motion while it's in play. Where is home? There's home right there. Isn't it great? Now you're completely free and you've got a ton more uh, capacity. So let's see here. Let's go Let's go ahead and do some mining at our own home planet. Now note it is very slow to pick up speed. That also has to do with the number of thrusters I have pushing. Power usage is at only 5% until I let go and start turning. Because then extra load now goes up to 13 also note it's it takes a while to slow down so I could have just as easily hit that rock uh, lights I don't have a flood light but I do have my helmet lights but they don't show up from here so I'm gonna exit the cockpit with F note that it stays right where you leave it if something interferes with it with the engines on it should re uh, regulate to back to zero uh, zero motion to believe it has okay my lights on yeah okay they changed this used to be when you were in the cockpit your light could still be on and you could still see so you're gonna want to add light spotlights to this but I will take care of that in another video spotlights are pretty much the same uh, as regular lights uh, you attach them to the craft you press L to use them when you're in the um, cockpit all right, I'm going to park it right about here, exit, do a little bit of drilling just to show. Oh, gravity's on, that's right, I forgot. Okay, let's make this easy, shall we? Okay, which way is gravity? It's uh, behind me? No, it's over there, okay. Forgive me for a moment. Fortunately, those are totally missing my spacecraft. Ah, uh, stay! There we go. Yep, oh, nope. Oh. Ah, too late. And then once you're done collecting some ore, and let's say you're full. Oh! Something... There's a couple of... Uh, hang on. Okay, first things first. We have ore. We can dump it off now. Dink. And it's still got plenty of room. However, uh, something just occurred to me. We don't know where the ship is at all times. So we're going to need to add a beacon. Let's do that real fast. Weep. I'm using the mouse, by the way, to look around. And then just using your basic uh, uh, jetpack uh, controls. Uh, that's uh, WASD plus Q and E for rolls. Okay, and uh, oh, one other thing, press V and scroll out with your mouse scrolling button and you can see exactly where you are and you can hold Alt to get a better idea. This comes in real handy when you're trying to get through really tight areas. So let's go ahead and land this. Easy, easy, easy. Note that the landing pads are now yellow. 
That means they are now in contact with something and can lock. So I will press P to lock them. Press Y to turn off the engine and exit the cockpit. Ta-da! Okay, real quick, let's put a beacon on this thing. So, uh, beacon, beacon. Doesn't really matter where, just has to be somewhere. I need a small steel tube and a computer. Shocking. Okay, uh, one. Let's get rid of the rest of this. And one of them. Am I out of computers? I'm out of kit. No, okay. I didn't see them. Sorry. Okay. And back to the ship. We need to know where this ship is, so. Ah, things get a little more interesting here. We need to be able to set uh, the name on that thing. So, we're going to cheat a little bit. We go into here. And. Or can we cheat? We can't cheat. Okay. I need a... Oh, wait. Hang on. We need a way to get, uh, add a name to this beacon. So let's go ahead and go in the cockpit. And hit... Uh, I believe it's I. Yep, for inventory. Uh, let's see. Oh, it does not have anything about the beacon here. So... GPS? No. Comms fractions. Comms? No. Sorry, I'm blanking here. I don't... Control panel. Ah, control panel, of course. Which I could have done from the reactor. So, uh, this is going to be... Beacon. Uh, beacon name. Uh, ship beacon. And broadcast radius will probably affect how much uh, energy it takes. Toggle block on or off. Show in terminal. Show block in toolbar. Um, I don't know what that is. And then some other controls that we don't need. Current input zero. Oh, because I turned off power. Turn on power. <laughs> Note that we're still in third person mode. Hit V to turn that off. And V again to bring it back. Now we will wander away. Oh, look at that. Ship has a beacon now. Now one other thing. Last thing. Uh... I want to give this ship color so that it is easier to see rather than the dull gray that's around us. So point away from everything. Hit P for color. Color picker. And a nice red, I think, will be good for our painting purposes. So let's go ahead and pick four. Uh, the steel thing. Now, I believe it's middle click, yes? Okay, yes, for one. And then shift middle click for a large splotch, which is what we want. We painting my ship red. It's like painting roses red, but not quite. Okay, that should do it. Now, that is much easier to see. Especially in an asteroid, trust me. But we also have this. But the beacon will not work if the engine is turned off. That is something you need to be careful of. You may end up losing a ship or two like I have. So... Uh, okay, that's way over time, so I'll go ahead and end it there, but uh, I hope this was helpful. I'll try and post it as quick as I can, and hopefully it won't be too much of a problem. Uh, again, I encourage comments. Thank you very much for your comments so far. Uh, they really encourage me to keep this going, and I hope it's helpful. Post comments to help other people by all means. Make your own videos. Just make sure everybody knows how to do it and the best way to do it. So, uh, this is uh, Mr. Sunshine. I'll see you later. Thanks.